In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make amazing video game assets with Midjourney. So I'm going to give you two ways. One is free, one is paid. The paid version is much better, but it's paid, of course. So first of all, these are the kind of, you can make any kind of assets, really. I'm going to make this kind of style today. So what you want to do is go to Google or wherever and download some video game assets that you like. I'm going to go here. Let's find something I like. I like these. These are these are good. So I'm going to save the image like this. Now, I'm going to go over to Mid Journey and I'm going to do slash describe. I hit enter. It's going to ask me to upload an image. I'm going to upload this image here. Hit enter. Now, what this is going to do is going to describe what I have just put in there. It won't take too long to do this, and boom, it's done. It's going to give me three different examples of what this could be. Now, or four different examples. Read through these and see which one's the most accurate. So I'm going to say the first one is the most accurate and I'm going to submit that. Now what this is going to do, it's going to recreate some images, four different variations of images in this kind of style. So basically make you new icons that look like this. Now this is one I did earlier. I put this in as the thing to describe and then it gave me a prompt. And then when I asked it to make them for me, it made me these. And you can see some of these are really cool, really interesting and to be honest, quite unique. I've never seen some like this and they could be implemented into a game. Um, you can see from this one, it's just doing it now. So that's the first way to do it. And it's completely free other than having to have mid journey. At this point, if you want to upscale one of these, say you like this first pack, you can do upscale and that's going to upscale the image for you, make it higher res. You see it's finished that there. You can then download this and cut the individual ones out and use them. Now the second method is the paid one. You want to go to a website called PromptBase. Now you want to at the top type in video game assets. Now you want to go down to Mid Journey. And here there's going to be tons and tons and tons of different asset styles. So let's say we want to make some potions in our game. We'd like these, these are really cool. We can get this prompt here and it's going to give you, it will cost $3.99 it's a secure checkout with Stripe, whatever. It's going to give you the keyword used or needed to create these kind of things. So you'll get them. And then what you can do is you can put them into mid journey and it's going to create some things that look like this. There'll also be instructions on how to make them customized. So if you want a spider in it, it will tell you how to do that. If you want fire, it will tell you how to do that. You can also use these individual keywords um, from this prompt to keep the same styles. So, Let's say you want to design characters as well as assets in Mid Journey. You can use the keywords to keep the same styles to keep everything consistent. And that's pretty much how you do it. And as you can see from this that we added in, it gave us this and, you know, oh, from this, it gave us this here. And you can see like, they're very similar and pretty unique, pretty cool. So yeah, that's how you do it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and comment down below that it worked. Thank you for watching.